Right, I think we are live, Rach. I am so glad we're live when I'm not getting undressed as I thought I was before. <laughs> so I'm so, so grateful for you spending some time with us. And I'm so grateful to you guys if you're watching live or watching on replay for dedicating some time and energy to join us in this Rich Tog chat. Rachel has got a great story to share with us. She's going to share her story, talk about what's working for her in her business right now. I might ask you a question about what marketing is working or has worked, Rach. I'm going to pick your brains. And then Rachel's also got some tips to share with other photographers, things that looking back, she thinks have made the difference for her. But just to share a little bit of a, a tech realization that I've had guys before we kick off I am relatively new to StreamYard and I set it all up and I was waiting for Rachel to join me and I was in and out the room in and out the room I was actually getting undressed a few times and I didn't really realize that Rachel can come into the room and just see everything <laughs> but Rachel thank the Lord didn't see me getting undressed but was nearly traumatized enough to need counseling I would have had to offer to pay for that obviously <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fine. <laughs> it's not like Zoom. I didn't realize. I thought my camera was off, but clearly it wasn't. <laughs> so welcome, Rachel, and thank you. And guys, if you're watching today, if you could put hashtag live in the comments, let us know you're here. If you can also click on the StreamYard link just above this live stream, and that means we can see your name. If I see, hello, lovely Facebook user. If you haven't clicked on the link, I can't unfortunately see your name, but hello, and it's lovely to have you here. And if you are watching on replay, guys, if you want to drop a hashtag replay into the comments for us and pick our brains while we're here. We are both working photographers and we are here to help you in your journey as a photographer. So, Rach, I'm going to pick your brains today. This is going to be ace. <laughs> so Rachel is a working photographer, professional photographer, and she is now specializing in brand. But I would like to take you, hey Zoe, it's lovely to have you here, Zoe's with us. I'd like to take you back, Rach, to before we met, because I know obviously you've been through a couple of my free events, you've been through my program, I I'm now your mentor, which is ace, I love working with you. But let's take you back towards the at the time when before we met tell us about where you were i know you were working and you were struggling with your photography decisions so tell us a bit yeah. about that yeah so i had the kind of 30 fear i still have a year left before i get to 30 but um Seriously, don't give me that I know, I know, I, i've had this thing where i'm like right oh my god i'm gonna be 30 soon you have to have your life started you have to know what you're doing blah 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 and i was just like oh dear lord i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> so I've been trying to like set up a business for a while and when I, I previously worked for an older couple and it was kind of the realization that that job wasn't going to continue for too much longer and I was like I don't want to be suddenly like oh we're starting in the business and then I'm like oh no what on earth do I do so I was like right I need to start thinking of things so I tried a few other things that didn't work and then I was already the photographer for I worked for a horse farm and um I was like, everyone's like, oh, you know, you've got the gift, you've got the eye, you know, you should be the doer. You were dabbling, you were dabbling with your photography. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, okay, we'll try it, we'll try it. So the little Facebook algorithm shows you as this, you know, mentor and like a free masterclass in photography, in like um, brand photography. I didn't really know anything about brand photography. I didn't really think of it before. Um, and um, I was like, right, we'll go, we'll, you know, let's give it a bash, see what happens. Fantastic. And I've always wanted to help businesses, but I thought I would have to have a marketing degree or do some sort of course where it would take me like four years to get anywhere and then set up some sort of marketing agency. And I totally didn't even realize that this was so relevant and was so easy for me because you know, I had the eye for the photography and it means that I can help people with their marketing I love in a way that. that I can do. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, that's the beauty of brand, isn't it? That is the beauty of brand because we get to help other businesses. So I'm right in thinking before we met on one of my free events, but before that you were feeling like you had to make a decision. Am I going to do this professionally? Am I going to give it a go? And were you feeling, because I remember feeling right at the beginning of my journey, Rach, quite lost. I didn't know what direction to take. I didn't know 
how to set up a business, how to market myself. Did you feel like that? Oh, completely, completely. And as soon as everyone said, I was like, right, I'm going to go into photography. And they're like, oh, you could do weddings. You'd make so much money, blah, blah, blah. And you could do families or newborns or pets. And I was just like, I really don't want to do weddings. Like the idea of a bridal it gives me the total fear. And I'm like, I really don't want to do it. And then when Jill was like, you know, you do midweek shoots, you get your weekend. And I was just like, this is like the best thing ever. I have worked full time my whole life. I've had to cram. I've got like my own little small farm, which I've had to cram into having like weekends and stuff. And it's just been horrible. Like this is like my first lambing ever since I've had sheep that I've been able to take time off because I've always Fantastic. had to work because yeah, you exactly. got you were in a job you didn't like but now yeah. you're your own boss and you enjoy your, your work as a brand photographer and you've got that freedom of choice when it comes to your time your work life balance I no, love it's really so is it so back to the beginning again when we first met what was it that made you come on? Because I think we met on a, a masterclass that I was holding one of my free masterclasses. Was it you just needed more help with your business and, and your marketing? Yeah, totally. Because I just like, I didn't really know much about brand photography. And then when I heard about it, I was like, oh, this is exactly what I need to, I need to go into this, what I want to do. And it just was like, tick, 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 tick. And then I was like, right, let's, you know, go with this, see how it goes. You know, it's going to take a little while to build up, which actually it turned out it didn't but anyway it was <laughs> you hit the ground running <laughs> yeah exactly and um yeah within so that was july so i'm yeah the bbp of july yeah, it just yeah you were the july crew when you came on board the program weren't you so it's yeah. nearly so your it, year anniversary your brand anniversary <laughs> <laughs> so yeah totally like less than a year you know i am now full-time in my business I you know have the freedom to choose when I want to work and how often I want to work it's it's great it's great and it's making now more money than I ever have done time and yeah for just like such little less hours it's amazing I'm just like I like even now even just that like the price point I match is now I would have had to work like a week and a half full time to make the same amount of money that I can make in three hours in one day and I'm just like what, what's your price point at the minute Currently seven nine five, but I'm in the process of trying to bump that up to nine nine five. But yeah, getting over the part where it's easy to make this kind of money, when actually your clients find it really difficult. And like I used to think, oh, I can't charge this. This is crazy, because you know it's so easy. I can't possibly do this, you know. And then I then get complete imposter syndrome. But that's another story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> we all suffer from that, right? We all. Suffer. But, but no uh, yeah music, it's great quite is that is absolute music to see the transition you've been on over the last year to going from feeling you're in, you're stuck in a job you didn't enjoy you were then coming to the end of that job not knowing what to do next you already had your photography skills to then now as you just said making more money than you've ever made before having that freedom of choice and what I've noticed with you is you are confidently riding the ups and downs of business because we all go owning our own business brings us so much joy. It gives us better work life balance. Brand photography, especially, you know how passionate I am about brand photography with the uh, and weekday shoots. So you've got your weekends back, you've got your evenings back. It's a light edit. So we're not editing till late into the night. So I, I love all that. But I think that transition that you've been onto and it on, and now you're confidently riding the ups and downs of business because we always go through downs as well as ups. But I see that change in you. No longer are you lost, you struggle for direction, you don't know how to market and build a business. You know how to do it and you confidently ride the downs as well as the ups. So that's music to my ears. So let me have a look at my questions. There's, a, there's another couple I want to pick your brains about. So thinking about as well as the way your business has changed, you've, you've, you've got better work-life balance, you're making more money. Tell me about how you've changed in feeling since we, since in that transition, since we've worked together, since you attended one of my free events and obviously you then came onto the programme. How have you changed in your feelings? Are you feeling more confident? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And much more driven. I'm a, a very driven person. And I like, you know, once I get everything in line, I'm like, boom, let's go. And um, 
yeah, just knowing now that that's what I'm doing and like seeing how quickly it can scale is, it's really, and as you say, with those peaks and falls, it's when you're in the low, you're like, right, you know, it's just having that kind of awareness that it will get better. It's okay. Yeah. And this know, too shall pass. We always yeah. say, don't we? This too shall pass. We go through a little dry spell in business, but we know we'll market, market, market. And those inquiries come in and those bookings come in as they have for you. I mean, you've got four, four shoots coming up, yeah. haven't you? Four yeah. brand shoots. Yeah. I know. And now having the knowledge of how to market myself, I know that I haven't, you know, if I don't, if I'm in one of those lows, it's because I haven't been marketing. And before I would just go, oh, no, this is it. I can't do it. I can't do this at all. It's, you know, that's my business gone, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, no, Rachel, that's because you haven't done this, this and this that Jill tells you. And I'm like, oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Am I on your shoulder, Rach, telling you what to do? (laughs) Yeah. And I'm like, right, okay, I really need to up my game. And yeah. And the whole consistency thing it is, it is like, it's what the word everyone says that you go, oh, God, not again. But <laughs> it is 100% the thing. As soon as you can get your mindset around the idea of consistency, you will completely flourish. And I am currently in that moment at the moment, which I do every kind of few months where I go, oh, crap. Consistent <laughs> <laughs> feels telling me off. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Oh, so your tips to other photographers then, having been on that journey and now being where you are right now, your three tips for photographers Number one and number two, you've just touched on. So commitment and consistency. So Yeah, if I can give any advice to anyone who's thinking about doing this is you have to be committed because I wasn't really, I thought, yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll see what it's like, blah, blah, blah. Don't know if I'm really going to get clients. Don't know, blah, blah, blah. And like I kind of pampered the idea. And then I was filling my holidays with brand shoots where if I had gone from like day one, right, give it my all, let's go for this. When you set up your Facebook or Instagram pages, the algorithm is 100% in your favor and absolutely go for it. Like, what is the harm in not going for it? Because, you know, it's it's so much worse than actually going for it. Because if you just spent three months going for it, you will be completely transformed. Definitely. And it's that you were talking to me about, it's almost your mindset in terms of when you start your business, you're in the mindset of, well, I'll just see if it works. Whereas you talked about that's how I was. And then I changed to be, no, this is going to work. I'm going to make it work because I now know how to make it work. So yeah. that level of commitment, I think, is is definitely. Brilliant. And even like the price point, because when I started, it was 495 and I did my first shoot and I was like, oh, my God, that was so much work. And I was like, actually, I want more than that. And It was so like, actually, people are paying this. Once you realize that people will actually pay the money that you're charging, you're like, oh, okay, this is totally fine. And yeah, once you get that money, you're like, right, let's go for it. And, you know, the money difference is amazing. Like, Oh, I'm so glad because I've seen that growth in confidence setting your prices with you as well. Because as you said, you started on 495, you're now charging 795. We're moving you up very shortly to 995. And I definitely think one of the crucial skills we can all learn as photographers is standing up for our worth and charging what we're worth and really being proud to charge a premium price. And yet we're all going to have wobbles. I mean, you're a member of my club, which is my exclusive membership for the Business of Brand Photography students. And we've shared recently, haven't we, the story of one of our clubbers whose price point is 1295. And that's, you know, a very premium price point. And she had a client, didn't she, who said, well, I'm happy to pay 800. I'll pay you 800. (laughs) But through the power of that clubber, obviously pulling on the support from all of the rest of the clubbers, myself, helping her word something back to that person. She stood up for her worth, just like you do. And she stood up for her price point and actually said, no, this is this is my price. This is my charge. And that client came back to her and booked her at the full price. Really so it's having that confidence, isn't it, to say, no, this is what I'm worth. This is what I'm charging. And I do think that comes when you start 
feeling and seeing yourself as a business person and having what you've just talked about commitment to your business yeah. i love that yeah, definitely, definitely. yeah so well, any other uh, any other tips yeah, and commitment like, definitely go for it what is the harm it will be you know where are you going to get to um Consistency, the big one. Oh, this gives me hives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. It's like, oh, no. But <laughs> the other reason why I did this was because when I started posting <laughs> my own business, I was like, I don't have the images to post. I was like, you know when you get that brainwave and you're like, right, I'm going to go and write these captions. And then you go, oh, no, I don't have any photos. And it was just like every business owner must feel this as well. Yeah. And, you know, it's this like, right. I can help you have the images for those brainwaves because, you know, they don't come very often in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I just need to go for it. So then I have the images sitting there to just go. And then I'm like, oh, there's a month done in one go. Um, and yeah, so consistency, yeah, commitment, consistency and invest in Jill, you know, or have a mentor. You have to have someone there backing you up. Well, I certainly do because one, the nagging, in the background <laughs> keep you comfortable. and um, to just having the support you know if I, you know several times i've come to jill going oh i don't know how to deal with this inquiry or what do i charge for this you know what do i do and she is 100 been there for me and i can't thank you enough really it's been brilliant and Aww, yeah without you. meeting jill doing that masterclass, i would probably still be working in that job Ooh. going on earth am I going to do? I've now got oh. the year. What am I going to do? And now I'm like, right, what can I get to in this year before I hit oh. 30? Yeah, oh, great. that's so lovely to hear. And that how funny that our journey, your journey, started with that free masterclass. You came on board that masterclass. And I'm holding another one in, in a couple of weeks. But the masterclass, I'm sure it was the marketing one, Rach, where we talked... I basically gave marketing strategies and marketing guidance for photographers of all genres because I am so passionate about helping photographers just nail your marketing. If you want more money coming into your business, if you want more clients, if you want more inquiries, it's all your marketing, isn't it? So that's why I, I do love holding my masterclass, my marketing masterclass. So would you advise other photographers to come oh, along to the next free class? Absolutely. And even if you're doing other genres, you will pick up so much to then put into it. And, you know, I thought of doing dog photography and then I realised that I really can't be bothered with the public. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Owners, and I was like, you know what? I much prefer working with people and businesses. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's the thing is it's finding yeah. and designing the business that suits you, finding something that lights you up, that you enjoy, that pays you good money and that gives you that work-life balance as well. Okay. But another thing for dog photography or any other genre is you can make money on those genres as well because yeah, you yeah, absolutely don't, can. yeah don't think you can you can't because you definitely can you know it's you all definitely about. can absolutely I mean I I'm a working brand photographer that's what that's the genre you're in but I mentor a lot of other photographers in different genres as well we've got Jen she just did ten grand in a month we've got Nick she's regularly doing twelve to fifteen grand a month. And they're big numbers. That's not necessarily everyone's goal and aim, but whatever genre you're in as a photographer. And I'd love to know, guys, let me know in the comments, what genres are you currently working in? And whichever genre you are working in, you can absolutely make a success of your business and make the money you need and you want and deserve, as well as having better life balance. It's just about structuring your business right, nailing your marketing, streamlining your business. So I do hope some of you guys will come over to my marketing class. It's going to be held on the 23rd of May. We're going to do it in the evening. So it'll be a live with wine. It's 8 p.m. So if you'd like the link for my complimentary, it's completely free, an hours long class all about marketing your photography business to get more leads, more inquiries, make more money, then say yes, please, in the comments and I will get that link to you. But thank you for sharing your top tips, Rach. Thanks for being here. I'm so thrilled for your journey and thrilled for all your successes. No, I know. It's great. It's been really good. And I can't thank you enough. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. I love working with you. It's ace. I love it. And I love it when you message me and you say, Jill, I've just done this. This is ace. I love celebrating those wins as well as helping you through the ups and downs of business because that's that's what we do. We help and support each other. Okay. So thank you, my lovely Rich Tog Rachel. Thanks for being here and sparing some time. You're a superstar. Thank you, guys. For 
for watching. Thank you so much and hope to see you very soon. Mwah! Loads of love. Thanks, Rach. Bye. Bye.